Hi everybody, my name is Paula Roan Adrian and I am a practicing family law barrister. I've been at the bar for over 20 years now and today's video is about the English court's general approach to how a parent who is not the resident parent, so you're not living with your child, how the court approaches you spending time with your child. What, what does the court generally do? So in that kind of scenario, the court will generally say that unless there's a really good reason why you shouldn't be spending time with your child, that it's good for the child to see you. It's good for the child to spend time with you. Um, and a lot of times people will say to me, well, should it be an equal amount of time? Should it be 50-50? And again, generally speaking, where it's possible, the court will look to a situation where the child can spend as much time with one parent as they do with the other. Sometimes that's not always practical. Sometimes it's not always realistic. But yes, the court will generally look to see if that's a possibility. Now, interestingly, people will say to me, but I don't get on with the other parent. We argue and things are really difficult. Is that a reason for my child not to see the other parent? And it isn't. Just because you're unable to get on with the other parent, it doesn't mean that it would stop that other parent from spending time with the child. Obviously it impacts on that and the court would want you to work out the differences between you, but it doesn't mean, no, that the other parent would not see the child even on a shared care basis. So when would the court say, look, we've got concerns about you spending time with your child? Well, the most obvious reasons are in relation to allegations of domestic abuse and where the parent is um, suffering from alcohol abuse or drug abuse. Um, in those kind of circumstances where there are welfare concerns in relation to that parent being able to provide care for the child, then the court would have reservations. But even then, the court would look at circumstances in which there is a safe environment for the child to spend time with that parent. For example, at a contact centre or with an extended member of family supervising that contact. Contact, remember, is not just about physically seeing the child. It's also about writing and telephones and video platforms. So it's lots of different ways you can have contact with your child. And the last thing I want to say is remember Contact isn't about you as an adult spending time with your child. It's about the child spending time with you. This is a really important feature and is sometimes forgotten and lost when you come to court, but the court will always remind you of that fact. Good luck.